Hello, my name is Kel Bailey and welcome back to another video. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button for me and like this video. Hey, today we're gonna be going over the Roland Phantom X6. Now this is a super, super dope classic board that came out in 2004. Um, they made it available in the X6, the X7, and the X8. And I'm gonna share with you whether I think this is still a good keyboard to get in the year of 2024. Let's get into it. A -A -A -K -B. I'm gonna demo some of the sounds on this keyboard, but a little backstory. Um, as I mentioned earlier, this keyboard came out in 2004 and this keyboard was made to compete with like keyboards like the Triton, the Motif ES, some of those classic keyboards that came out around this time. And as you see, we got this nice big display right here in the middle of the screen. We got the nice orange pads to the right side of this keyboard. The orange pads, in my opinion, just makes this keyboard, there's something nostalgic about it. I remember walking in Guitar Center and seeing this keyboard, like the G6 and the X6 when I was younger. Um, but you know, we got these orange pads right here. And then on this side, we have like, you know, the workstation features and arpeggio and you know, some of the key effects and stuff like that. But let's check out the ultimate grand. This is the first piano that pops up when you pull up this keyboard. Let's check it out. Ultimate Grand sounds really rich, sharp, and full, you know? Fun fact, if you follow my music, this is actually the piano that I used on my song, Wonderful Is He. Um, if you wanna check that out, um, it is on Apple Music and on all digital outlets, but I use this piano sound on there. So we already know that this keyboard has some solid piano sounds, but really the main reason why you would get a Phantom in 2024 is because of the synth sounds and some of the pads and stuff that's actually on this keyboard. If you know, you know, this keyboard comes with J-pop brass. This is a super popular brass that we hear in gospel music. Um, and it is a powerful synth board. Like check this brass out. I'm sure this feature over here, it's called D-Beam, but um, this is an assignable feature that responds to your hand waving. So I'm sure in 2004, this had to be a super, super crazy feature to have. I'm sure people was losing their minds over this feature. J-Pop Brass is one of my favorite sounds. Another sound that I use in production. Hey, if you're still enjoying this video, I want you to hit that like button for me. And I wanna let you guys in on something. So I am a part of Sweetwater Affiliate Program. So basically what that means is if you click my link below and you're looking for some new gear to buy, just by using my link and adding something to your cart and actually checking out and buying it, I get a small percentage of what you buy. So that is a way that you can kind of support me and support my channel further. So the next time you consider buying some new musical gear, consider using my link. All right, let's get back to the video. Any like upbeat type CCM song or even like some gospel songs, I'm layering this sound in there somewhere. It's a distortion guitar and it sounds like this.
So that's a crazy guitar sound. Another super dope sound is the MC404 bass. Then we got like some um, synth leads in here as well. Check this one out. And then this is another favorite sound I like to use a lot. Like the options on this keyboard is super, super crazy. Just like the sounds by themselves just sound super, super good. Let's check out modular lead. Then we have like another pad sound. I've only gone through six sounds and you hear the possibilities of this keyboard in I mean, if you're just looking for a keyboard that just automatically sounds good without you having to do any tweaking, if you're using it for production or maybe you're using it live, I think the Phantom X6 is a great option for you to get. Um, I want to go through just some more sounds because I'm revealing some secrets right now. These are like a lot of sounds that I use on actual records that I release. Those, those good pads I was telling you about. Now the last sounds we'll go over is the brass section. Now the brass sounds sound like Kevin Bond to me. Like it sounds like late nineties, early 2000 gospel music, you know? So in case you're wondering whether I think the Phantom X6 is still a great buy in 2024, without a doubt, I would say yes, get the keyboard. If you like what you heard, I would suggest you get on eBay or Guitar Center and find one used. It is a great option for production, even playing in live situations. Like if you need a top board at church, something to play live, check this keyboard out it's the way to go hopefully this video answers the question that someone asked me a few months ago someone said why is the x6 and the g6 still around why do people still use these keyboards it's because they sound good it's easy to work it's easy to find what you need and you have a lot of options so thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate you guys so much Comment down below what you think about this video and let me know if I nailed it in terms of my analysis of this keyboard. But thank you guys again so much for watching. That's all we got. We are out.